Morning all, is everyone there? Yeah, we're here. Morning. Morning. All right. So, um, so I'm sure as you're all aware, of, um, uh, we're imminently announcing my retirement from all forms of cricket. Um, so yeah, Darlin's and Cricket wanted to do a bit of a press conference and answer any questions you guys would, would like to ask. Hello there, Javi. Dean here. Um, obviously, this uh, it's always a sad day when you reach the end of uh, your career. I was very fortunate enough to see you make your international debut at the Sharia Bangla Stadium. That was your one-day international debut in 2009. And very fortunate to also see you make your test debut against the same opposition at Harare Sports Club in 2011. Um, are there any particular real standout performances by you and indeed by the team that you will cherish for, I suppose, the rest of your life? Um, a big one that sticks out was my first test by far, uh, which was in Bulawayo against New Zealand. Um, I was lucky enough to get a few more of those. Um, but yeah, I think that, that was a special moment when I knew, yeah, I sort of not arrived, but I was good enough to play at that level. So probably that first fight against New Zealand, I think, I think I must have been about 22. Um, yeah, so that's the first one. Okay, and then uh, my, my final question. Uh, you obviously had a lot of, of county experience where you did very well. The, I think the 2015 series, season in particular was a really good one for you. You played alongside Jimmy Anderson from time to time and Glenn Chappell, very experienced uh, campaigners. Is there a form of a, I suppose, legacy that you would like to leave? You know, how, how would you like the youngsters who look up to you to remember you by? Yeah, well, hopefully not not forgotten that soon. Um, yeah, I, as I made pretty clear, I'd like to give back um, and be a part of some cricket in, in some capacity going forward. So hopefully I can help uh, any young bowlers coming through, whether that's helping from the field or yeah, from behind the scenes in in some way or another. So yeah, I definitely want to help out and and give back. All right, Tatenda. Right, thank you, Darlington. Um, hi, Cal. So my my question to to you is this. Um, sorry, I may have missed a bit at the beginning there, but uh, obviously I know you battled a, um, a serious illness at the beginning of the year. Uh, how much did that play a part in your decision um, to retire? Um, and then uh, obviously I think maybe just adding on a bit to what Dean had asked, um, you know, just generally like in terms of uh, your your legacy with Zim Cricket, how do you feel about leaving Zim Cricket at present? And do you feel that it's in a better place than when you first started off? Um, yeah, obviously I I hurt my back against Sri Lanka in a test match uh, beginning of 2020. Uh, I was fortunate that I made a, I, made, I, I managed to come back and become fit again. And I felt like just as I was starting to get, you know, get back into it, uh, unfortunately, I got that illness, which which set me back even further. I think after the uncertainty of coming back the first time from the back injury and then just making it and then um, that illness, I think those two together, I, I sort of realized I needed to start looking for something for, for life after cricket. Of course, we've all got families and we need to be able to provide. So I knew cricket wasn't going wasn't gonna to last forever. Um, and yeah, I really just put my head down and tried to come up with a plan for, for life after cricket. So I think it wasn't so much that I didn't think I could come back again for the third time. I just, uh, yeah, I had my mindset on trying to set up something else in the, uh, on the side. So yeah, in terms of leaving, leaving a legacy, uh, um, I felt like the last three years of my international career were definitely my best by far. I mean, if you look statistically at my numbers before I left the UK, uh, when I was in my early 20s and when I came back, there's a huge difference in those two. So, yeah, I, d uh, I was fortunate enough to give my very best uh, performances and, um, yeah, in my career in my last three years with Zimbabwe cricket. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm very proud of what I managed to do at the end there. All right, uh, if you've just joined us, uh, we are with uh, Kyle Jarvis, the Zimbabwe first bowler who has decided to call time on his career. 
after a year blighted by injury and illness. So if you have a question, just indicate by raising your hand, then you can fire away. I see Fidos. You can fire away, Fidos. Thanks, Darlington. Hi, Kyle. Nice to see you. Uh, although maybe not the best news for you to be delivering. Um, Kyle, I just, you know, how, how are you feeling health-wise? It, it sounds as though this combination of the injury and the illness decided it for you. Um, do you feel like you could play again? Have you considered, you obviously haven't considered T20 leagues, but is it a case of where you just don't think you can? No, I'm, I've, I've had a full recovery from both. I actually went for my last medical about a week ago and had everything, everything's 100%. I mean, I train every single day, um, obviously not cricket, but I'm in the gym, uh, whether it's in the gym or playing a bit of football or running, whatever it is I, I do, I exercise every day. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't sit there and try and guess, could I, could I play at the same level again? I think if I really put my mind to, maybe that would be the case. But yeah, I've come to peace with my decision. Obviously, it's not an easy decision, but um, yeah, I've come to peace with it. And yeah, looking forward to the future and what that holds. Yeah, and uh, thanks, Carl. You, you said you've set up some stuff on the side. What, what are you going to be getting up to? Um, got a vehicle importing and... Uh, some new and used car business here in Zimbabwe. I've also um, got some partners which we're doing a restaurant. Obviously, a bit of a crazy time to be doing a restaurant um, in these these COVID times. But uh, we've got a bit of a plan, and yeah, hopefully, it comes off quite nicely. All right, thanks, Fedos. Uh, next is Mashuli Spanda. Meshuli, you can come through. Yeah. Yeah. You are on mute, Meshuli. All right. All right. I'm sure you can hear me now. Yes, please go ahead. All right, uh, Carl, pretty sad news that you're uh, giving to us today. Um, but how is the feeling? I mean, you, 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 you I mean, you, you've been in cricket has, 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 has been your life. I mean, uh, we've known you for, I mean, for over 10 years now playing this game. How does it feel for you to walk away from this game? And are you completely walking away from, from the game as in not even club cricket, everything? Um, yeah, of course, it's it's, uh, it's it's the day that every every sportsman dreads the day that he has to retire. It's all I've known, you know, since I was since I was a boy growing up wanting to be a professional cricketer. So to to sit here and say that's yeah, that's no longer who I am or what I can do um, is of course very sad. Um, but yeah, I've just got to look at the bright side. I've had a, I've been lucky enough to have a good twelve year career. Um, international and domestic and yeah in terms of playing again I've got no immediate plans to play any sort of club cricket or anything like that but um, yeah we'll see what I can do to try and help behind the scenes um, and wherever I can help uh, I'll make myself avail available to Zimbabwe cricket. So you're quitting all forms of cricket if I get it right all forms of cricket you're cr uh, completely retiring from all forms of the game. Correct. Okay. All right. Thank you, Mehruli. Uh Next, we have Ladi Kirirai. Then, after Ladi Kirirai, I see Brighton Jawi as he's in the house. Larry. I guess some gremlins are getting in the way. Brighton, you can come through in the meantime. Uh, uh, KJ, uh, good to see you, man, after what you went through recently with the sickness and the injuries. Obviously, it's said that you're quitting cricket. But um, I, let me take you back to the time. Um, I think I remember that during the World Cup qualifiers, you said you struggled to move on from that setback. But now Zimbabwe got a chance with this Super League thing in Bangladesh, you've confirmed if the series confirmed are coming here, how do you see Zimbabwe's chances and uh, what do you make of the current bowling attack that you're leaving behind? 
Yeah, obviously every game, every game that's played, I, I follow closely, and um, whether it's watching from my computer or from home, or whatever it is. Um, yeah, I think there's some nice variation. Nice to see um, Garava coming through. Um, and I think there's a really bright future with Madevere also, and Shumba and Dion Myers, and these guys. It's, it's good that we can see there's some, some good players coming through, and um, yeah, the future's bright with them. All right, thank you. Thank you. Larry? Okay. All right, do we have anyone else? Yes, back to you, Fidos. Well, just to follow up on that, I mean, it's obviously been difficult for Zimbabwe with missing out on T20 World Cups and, and major tournaments and even the World Test Championship. If you could kind of uh, look ahead to, let's say, the next 10 years, what, what would you hope for Zimbabwe cricket going forward? Of course. Um, there's been some tough times in the last, in the last few years um, with obviously that, that ban that we had and... Every time I felt like we were getting some momentum, that we had a bit of a setback, whether it was COVID or the ban. Hopefully we can just get a bit of momentum going. Um, of course, there's a couple of guys, you know, who are coming probably towards the end with, with Brennan Taylor, um, Sean Williams, et cetera, probably in their last couple of years. So we really need to push, you know, the, the youngsters coming through. And it's really exciting to see, as I mentioned, the guys before, the Dion Myers, the Shumbas, um, the Wesley Madavere. So yeah, just to, just to see Zimbabwe keep progressing. Um, and it's nice that those guys have had some senior players to, you know, to learn from in the last few years. Um, so we should be in a good place, hopefully. All right, thank you, Fedos. Literally, I'm not sure if your hand is up again. Okay, uh, I did miss the first part of the, obviously, I don't know, uh, don't do, I mean, technical issues. But uh, let me get this call. The retirement was purely to deal with, was it because of the injuries that you've had, your back problems, your illness and whatever, is it all that? Sorry, I've lost you there. Um, computer's paused. Okay, uh, we seem to be okay. Shall we? Right. Uh, KJ, now, right. I'm saying now you retire a married man, new life. Uh, how did your family and your wife take this? How did you took it? Yeah, the family and my wife have been very supportive. Um, they're obviously very sad to see me stop. I think, yeah, my, uh, my sister, one of my biggest supporters, is obviously quite sad that she can't watch me play anymore. But they understand my the reasonings behind my decision, um, so they've all been very supportive, and yeah, they 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 still big Zimbabwe cricket fans, and will will keep watching despite me not being there. Cheers, mate. Okay, thanks, Brighton. Um, all right, ladies and gentlemen, is there anyone else? Okay, uh, what remains is for me to thank you once again for taking time out of your busy schedule uh, for this virtual prayer, sir. Uh, thank you very much. You must enjoy a wonderful day. Yes, guys, thank you. Thanks, Alex, and thanks, Kyle. Go well. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.